Radio VR VR 96.8 Radio VR presents presents creativity ideas innovation change leadership development youth in entrepreneurship only on Radio VR 96.8 MHz वेलकम बैक यूर लिस्निंग टू नाइन्टी सिक्स पोइंट एट नेपाली को आवाज रेडियो रियाज माई नेम इज अभिलाषा राय माझी एंड टुडे वी हेव ऑन आर शो विक्रांत राज पांडे हु इज द मैनेजिंग डिरेक्टर अफ परित्राण रिस्क मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम प्रिजम्स सो वेलकम बैक टू द शो थैंक यू वेरी मच अभिलाषा सो बिफोर द ब्रेक वी वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सक्सेस स्टोरीज एंड द इम्पैक्ट दैट द ट्रेनिंग हैड ऑन विजुअली इम्पेयर्ड वीमेन यू हैव ऑल्सो ट्रेन जर्नलिस्ट एंड यू हैव ऑल्सो वर्कड विथ वीमेन फ्रॉम रूरल एरियाज एंड वीमेन फ्रॉम हू वर्क इन नाइट शिफ्ट एंड डांस बार्स सो वट आर द other success stories and what kind of impact has this uh, mm. training had on women from various walks of life so uh, we had the opportunity to collaborate with various organizations and you know take this program to the rural side too uh, it was a, a dfid project and we worked with alliance for peace a local ngo and we went to six districts and we trained around 150 women and girls uh, and this was the first time this was done uh a swim self defense program going out to the rural areas and you know and one of the success story was uh um uh, um a training from kabre uh, she attended our 3 day 3 days training it was a very intensive training and 8 hours uh, daily training program and it so happened about 2 months after training she was uh, you know she she was attacked in a bus and she could successfully defend herself and besides that um we even took the training uh to a district like bara where uh the propensity of sexual violence is high and what we found was the first thing was uh, uh uh the girls and the ladies who came into the training they they had a lot of self confidence developed and another thing was there was uh the the program was designed in such a way that about 25 trainee when they took the training program they had to go to an awareness campaign m- mission घर दैलो कार्यक्रम एंड दे हेड टू एंड वी डिजाइंड एन अवेरनेस प्रोग्राम एंड अबाउट बेसिक यू नो सेफ्टी वुमेन्स सेफ्टी अवेरनेस प्रोग्राम एंड दीज लेडीज दे वेन्ट एंड दे डिड अ वेरी गुड जॉब देर एंड इन अ प्लेस लाइक बारा वॉट वी फाउंड वेन यू वेन वी वेन बैक टू डू द यू नो इम्पैक्ट असेसमेंट देर वॉज अ वेरी पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट about this and uh, there was an heightened you know awareness regarding sexual violence and how to mitigate it uh, so you have worked with uh, women from rural areas and um, urban areas you have trained them yes. so what is the difference that you find between these two uh, group of women well the thing is that all our trainees are very much enthusiastic and they are very much you know willing to participate and they they love the program that's the common thing um in terms of you know uh difference is uh, the places where uh, there is more patriarchy in the society uh, the trainees are a little bit more inhibited in terms of you know uh, sharing their story and you know um, in terms of participation it takes a little more time for them to open up um, but besides that uh, uh, the women in nepal uh, you know the sense of empowerment and uh, i f- i found it was almost uh, equal in the rural as well as the urban areas you know that's the thing so i wanted to ask you a uh, question related to the assessment mm. how do you assess uh, you know which group of women would uh, to you know g- give trainings okay. which uh, are the areas of um, need how yeah, do you assess yeah, that a very good question what we do is as i said earlier we've got a uh, Uh, data analytics software we've been collecting data for the past 3 years and one of the um, things that we collect is um uh, the crime related to rape and what we've done is with the software it ca- it shows the hot spots uh, on which districts rape happen more so when we partner with organization we give them f- uh, inputs that uh, this is the district that we should go 
So in this regard, the district that we selected were the hotspots in the um, in Tarai and the hills area. In that way, we 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 had you know uh, for that intervention we had you know that, that's the thing. Uh, okay, so you have also. Um Uh, collaborated and partnered with different organization and NGOs and local exactly. partners. Mm. So, what kind of experience did you had? Uh, you know, uh, collaborating with those organizations. Well, it was a very fruitful experience. We we we've, we've had the uh, honor of you know getting um, collaborated with DFID. Uh, we even trained their internal staff and uh, Alliance for Peace. And we worked with an organization called War for One. um and it was a us aid and asia foundation uh, you know a sponsored project uh, in in that what we did was um war for one fights for the rights of women working in the entertainment sector in the night industry and their propensity of sexual violence is much higher and uh, we had to create another customized training program where we had to identify the various risks and in this case it was very important for them to teach verbal self defense that's one of the things that we teach and how to you know um uh how to defend oneself by not through aggression but through assertively and uh, and there was uh the training program was dis- uh, was designed in such a way that they had a risk response strategy okay um, um, based on the risk they had to give a certain response and besides that we we taught them self defense skills so that was that was another fruit program that we did okay so uh, you know there are various cases that are reported of mm. you know acid attacks and yeah, rape yeah. cases mm. uh, so how can a woman defend herself when okay. there is when someone just comes and throws acid on her because mm. of some reasons so yeah. how do you think these trainings are helpful in that situation of course a very good question the thing is that when we whenever we talk about such incidents we generally tend to focus on uh the particular incident when had, when it had happened but in order to understand on how to defend oneself you've got to you know a little bit dissect the situation um there's always a build up to such s- such crimes there's Uh, there's uh there are three stages one is before the incident d- during the incident and after the incident okay and most of the interventions and um in women security in nepal is focused on post incident aspect of it uh, but uh, a program like fight back what it teaches is how an individual can defend not to be a victim in the first place so in order to understand that one has to understand the criminal mindset okay what and there are various stages to it and how to identify how to identify a criminal mindset a basic what what's what constitutes a criminal mindset what are the danger zones um how to read a person's body language how to exhibit oneself and not to be not to act like a victim that's very important and and besides that we teach uh, uh easy to remember hard to forget self defense moves and this is nothing to do with martial arts okay. even though it is derived through martial arts um it it is ve- very simple you know techniques to defend oneself so in this regard when a when any when a trainee undergoes to such trainings it depends the more the merrier we've got one day training we've got uh, three day trainings we've got 10 days training and 30 day training the more the trainee uh, invests her time it's better but even a one day training um what it does is it sensitizes the person on how to you know what are the dangers and how to you know um mitigate, uh, mitigate it prevent it prevent it so 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 that's the main thing okay so uh, now we would also like to talk uh, apart from the self defense programs what are the other things that the organization does okay what we do is we uh, uh, we have two aspects uh, to um our our services are um divided in uh, two main categories one we provide consultancy 
and we provide training services. In our consultancy, what we do is we provide business continuity planning, disaster recovery strategy, data security, uh, safety and security assessments. Um, so uh, we help organizations and individuals design um, risk management um, protocols, policies, uh, those things, the consultancy aspect of it. The training aspect of it, we we have security training packages and we've got um, disaster preparedness packages like earthquake drills, fire drills, complex crisis drills. So these are the two main areas that we uh, that we specialize in. Okay, we, uh, we will be talking more about uh, Paritran risk management systems, prisms. Before that, we are going for a Riaz business box. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 